A word problem, Matthew bought, you know, Matthew provided this word problem. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew bought 15 blueberry muffins again. You know, Matthew, I'm getting tired of these blueberry muffins. Huh? You are not? <laughs> sure. Matthew bought 15 blueberry muffins and 7 bottles of water for a total of $25.05. If one bottle of water costs that much, find the cost of one muffin. This is a typical word problem. We have a bunch of muffins and a bunch of waters. We know the total. We know the price of one bottle of water. We don't know the price of one muffin. Okay. And if this seems complicated to you, you can get started by solving what you can solve. What can you solve using all this information there? There's something you can solve, right? Even if it isn't what it is asking, it might lead you to the final answer. And we can solve how much those waters cost. One water was 75 cents, and then there were seven of them. So we can solve how much these waters cost here. 35 and then 52. Okay, so $5.25. Now we can solve something else, right? We know how much all the waters cost. We know the total of everything. So let's subtract those, and then we will find the cost of all the muffins, right? 25 or 5, and 5, 25. And also 5 and 2. Subtract. This is a dollar amount. 5 minus 5. Over here, 0, okay? Need to regroup. 10 minus 2. Over here I have basically 24 minus 5, which is 19. $19.80. All the muffins cost $19.80 and there are 15 muffins. So now division. Division will solve. 1980 divided by 15. Okay. 15 goes to 19, exactly once, right? 4, then drop down 8. 15 goes to 48, 3 times, we get 45, and then 30, 2 times exactly, okay, that's great. So the division is even, and the answer is $1.32. Okay, I hope you got full from your meal, Matthew. Sure did. Describe your situation for this calculation. Oh wow, 3 times $5.40 plus 4 times $7.20 divided by 4. I'll let you think of it for a little while. What kind of situation would lead you into this kind of a long cycle calculation? Okay, I'm going to give you one example that came to my mind. Let's say that this division by four means that um, there's four people dividing, sharing evenly a cost of something. They buy some things. And then it's divided between four persons who are going to pay, you know, equal amounts. And they buy, like, let's say they have three kids and four adults, and they buy three kids' meals for this price and four adult meals for that price. Okay? Matthew, you have another? Sure enough. Okay. What's yours, Matthew? Okay, he thinks that this divided by four is divided by four dates. Okay, let's say that... This is all some kind of stuff you bought and you divide it between four days. Maybe that's the food you ate for four days and you divide it evenly. You divide the cost evenly or something. Okay, that could be. And uh, so... Oh, I need to solve it. Right, okay. Yeah, let's see what we get. Three times $5.40. To save time, I'm going to use mental math. Three times $5 is $15. And then three times 40 cents... 1, 20. So 16, 20. Over here is going to be $28 and 80 cents. Okay, and now we will add, it's going to be one whole dollar here and then 44, so 45 dollars. That's this whole thing divided by 4. 44 dollars would go evenly by 4, right? So 44 dollars divided by 4 is 11 dollars. And the last dollar divided by 4 is 25 cents. There. I love mental math.